Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I just want to stop by uh, on, on my YouTube journey and say hello to everyone. And today I wanted to talk about um, how to get the most out of the holiday season without spending a whole bunch of money. You know, my channel is gearing more and more towards uh, frugality and um, budgeting and, and, and still trying to live an abundant life. Um, so I think that everyone should really um, look into your local town, your neighborhood, your city, and see what is going on that is for free. Um, I have never taken part in anything in my town before. Um, I just just never bothered. But um, yesterday, my councilwoman had a wonderful outdoor Christmas, um, like a block party. It was really fun. They had the mounted police were there. They had a heated tent with um, uh, cookies and brownies and hot chocolate and pizza and chips. And uh, they had a DJ playing Christmas music. They had a horse-drawn carriage that took us for rides all around uh, the parkway where it was. And it got me thinking that, like, I've really been missing out on a lot of things like that. Um, Santa was there for the kids, and you could take a picture, and, you know, everything was totally free. And it was just a real nice family event. Now, I've noticed that in my state, where I am, um, there were a lot of drive through um, well, Christmas light exhibits where you pay like $25 a car to drive through an area to see lights. And um, I'm thinking, why would anyone pay $25 to drive around to look at Christmas lights when there are tons of other places that you can go? You could check out um, some neighbors, ask them if they know of any, um, you know, over-the-top light exhibits uh, people that have really gone over the top decorating their homes and their lawns uh, for Christmas this year. You can get together with some friends and, and take a ride and maybe take some hot chocolate in the car with you or go back to your place for hot chocolate and uh, maybe pop in a movie or something later. Um, just the festivities of being in a mall, whether you buy stuff at malls or not. Um, I used to like to just go the day before Christmas Eve, like the 23rd, and just sit there and watch everyone go crazy because my Christmas shopping was always done early. But it's just something about being out at this time of year that just kind of gets everyone uh, really in a good, good mood. Um, so you got your, you can go to find your own lighting displays. You can go and check your local library, see if they have any um, shows or any exhibits or anything like that, programs for kids or seniors or adults or teens. You can also, like I said, ask neighbors uh, or drive around your neighborhood looking at Christmas lights. You can go to a local mall, like an indoor shopping mall. And sometimes there's some nice little village outdoor shopping malls, which are really nice because they get the music piped outside and you can go from one store to another and kind of stroll. The, I know that a lot of churches also have uh, cookie swaps going on. Uh, there's all sorts of activities for every age group. So really take some time and, um, and it won't take long, maybe 20 minutes or so, go online or call a couple of friends and just see what's going on in your area so that you can take part in these Christmas festivities for free, for totally free. Don't spend any money, okay? It's not necessary. It's not what it's about. It's about the season. It's about the reason for the season. And um, there's so many ways that we can have a lot of fun. So I'm on my way to an activity now at one of our local libraries where they have uh, young children are like entrepreneurs and they're going to be making uh, Christmas items and selling them. The vendors, they're actually vendors. So I'm going to check that out and see if I can support our upcoming little local entrepreneurs. And then I'm going to head back and write out some Christmas cards. So that's how I'm having my fun today. Yesterday was fun filled. Today's fun filled. And then tomorrow's back to the grindstone. <laughs> but folks, I hope that you really can find something free and frugal and lots of fun this weekend to do or the rest of the Christmas season. 
And if you'd like to give me a thumbs up on this video, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to join my YouTube Frugal Mimi's community, feel free to hit that subscribe button and we'll be able to get together a couple of times throughout the weeks. I hope you have a great day and let me know what you found frugal and free in the comments below. Bye-bye.